Vampire Survivors is a really fun game. It has an addicting gameplay loop where you start off like really slow and like relatively weak, but as time progresses and you slaughter more enemies, you steadily grow more and more powerful until you are the living embodiment of death itself. Which is a bit ironic because if you last long enough, literal death itself comes for you. I am playing this game like maybe way too much, but I really can't help it. It has that like, you know, just one more run hook that had me up until 2 a.m. on a work day. And um, just between you guys, um, I might have gone past 2 a.m. too, but it's just, it's just a really good game, all right? Anyways, it's, it's, it's only like five bucks on Steam. And if you have Game Pass, it's a free game. So you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's, it's a nice way to kill some time. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Why did I say that then? Do I want to be sponsored? Well, yeah, I, I, I guess I do. I mean, that would mean that someone, somewhere, deemed my content viable enough to want to pay me to mention their product. But that hasn't happened yet, and it probably won't anytime soon. I mean, I've had my YouTube account since, like, what, 2016? And I've yet to get a legit email saying, a brand wants to work with me. Why would they? I mean, my influence online is minimal, to put it nicely. My videos barely get any views, and I, I don't even have enough followers to qualify for monetization on YouTube. Vampire Survivors is a game where you start off weak, like I said before, but you have every opportunity to grow and get stronger and stronger and survive longer and longer. I'm 33 years old. My my birthday was on the 7th, and I've been, like I said, doing YouTube for roughly six years on and off. I started off kind of similar, right? Um, not much going on that I didn't want to do, but I've slowly, over the years, accumulated enough knowledge and, I guess, wherewithal to end up where I am now. But is is where I am now considered growth? I mean, sure, I have hundreds of videos on this channel, but I've yet to reach the level where I can comfortably say that I'm a content creator. I'm mean, sure I've created content, but there's more to content creation than just making it. People have to watch it, engage with it, enjoy it. Right? I mean, otherwise, what's the point? To create for the sake of creation? That's an admirable goal. It's, it's something I tell myself over and over and over. But that's just so I don't feel too bad when I release something and it's cast into the void of YouTube videos. Never to reach an audience. Just something I can look back to and said, you know what? I did that. Vampire Survivors allows you to pick different characters, each with unique traits that change how you play the game. Do you pick Gennaro Bel Belpassi for his plus one to projectiles? Or maybe you want to go for uh, Christine and eradicate everything but the cost of a longer cooldown and potentially blowing away all your items. Trust me, that's, it sucks when you're like getting higher in a level in the game and suddenly like, oh, here's a little treasure box and well, you deleted it. Each character trait determines what abilities you should pick up in order to maximize the chance for a successful run. When I first started YouTube, I wanted to be a Let's Play like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, guy, and yes, yes, PewDiePie. I mean, he was popular. And in fact, they're all popular. They were all the template. So all I had to do was follow it, right? I played a horror game called The Black Rose. That's one of my very first videos on the channel, hoping to garner some level of success, hopefully the same kind of success that they did. And uh, you see my YouTube account now, you could probably tell that one. Okay, that, that, that's fine though. I'll just pivot to action games. All right, no luck there. Maybe classic games that have gone under the radar, you know? Still nothing. Huh. Oh, you know, maybe you shouldn't be on camera since your appearance might make some folks uncomfortable. Maybe you should be on camera so your appearance can make some folks more comfortable. You know what's holding you back, actually? Your microphone sucks. Get a better mic. That's why you're struggling. Actually, it's your camera needs to be upgraded. You need to upgrade so people can see you, see more of you. Uh, make sure you follow the trends. You know, do Halloween videos in October. Play every popular game that comes out, even if you don't want to. And my God, make sure you really sell that fear from that very obvious jump scare that's going to happen because it's a horror game. In Vampire Survivors, time is everything. As the clock progressively ticks up to 30 minutes, the enemies become tougher and more numerous, spawning elites, the occasional boss, you know, really powerful enemies. 
The longer you do it, the more uh, changes arise, the more obstacles you need to overcome. You know, like, first it's all about keeping videos short. Then audience retention. Then view counts, comments, likes, longer video durations to maximize ad potential. More and more obstacles as time goes on. Time. That's what you should do. Spend more time editing. Edit until your eyes hurt from staring at a screen. And make sure you use all the editing tricks you've seen other YouTubers use. You know, like jump cuts, random zoom-ins, moving just your video feed, you know, to keep things animated. Oh, you don't know how to do any of that? Oh, just like find some random clip to input into the video, just to, just to break it up, you know, something that visual eye candy. Put time in because the more time you do put in, the more success you'll have, right? Actually, maybe we don't do that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be embarrassing if you put time and effort into a video and no one saw it? Better to just put minimal effort into it since no one watched it anyways. They never do. Why would they? Who are you? What makes your content so compelling in the first place? You've mentioned other YouTubers, other more successful YouTubers, some of them even your age, who could upload a video of them just saying one word and get more views on that than all of your videos combined. I've been playing a lot of Vampire Survivors. Dying right when I'm almost at the very end, dying in the very beginning, dying in the middle, and all for various different reasons. But I keep coming back hoping that this is the run that will do it. This is the run that will get to death. This is the run where I'll beat death. Actually, there was a moment uh, where I made it to the end, to the 30 minute mark, and I was able to keep death at bay until another one showed up. And then I held that one off until a third came and overwhelmed me. It was really, how do I put this? I mean, just exhilarating to exceed the time limit, to even just for a fleeting moment, be on top of the game. Yeah, ultimately, I was taken down, and I've yet to reach that level again, but I've done it once. And and there's no reason for me not to be able to do that again. Also, it's like this weird reference, like the King in Yellow, which is like a, a, a real book in like our actual world. And it makes this level like I'm gonna pronounce it wrong I didn't before, but it's like Capella Magna or whatever. And it gets like real weird. Like I legitimately got scared because like this hand comes up in the beginning of the level and it like snaps and suddenly these new people come around. Like this one enemy I had to look him's called like the drowner. And he's super annoying because like he he like has like a staff, right? And then the water just rises up and he's such a piece of shit. Like I I don't know what they were thinking interest in that character. And then there's like another guy who comes up to you and he's like some kind of map it's 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 a wild thing that they just threw in there there's only like five stages in the game and they were just like we're gonna make these work and buddy they make those work so y'all should really uh check out the game all right and maybe if you made it to the end of this video check out some of my other stuff see my my other runs subscribe if this is what you want to do and if not, maybe just share the video.